Guys, my god, I've watched this craziest episode. I mean, how is this enemy doing this? Like, each episode is better than the other. I'm not, I, no, not, not like that. The previous episode, it was still more shocking and uh, it had like crazy weight in it, like a um, 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 uh, crazy amount of information there and details and hints and stuff. But this episode was like pure action. Like half of the episode was pure action. Half of the episode was pure build up to this action. Whoa. So yeah, watch the episode in the like, links in the description and go here uh, if you want to listen to the discussion. And the discussion starts right now. And man... This episode was called, what, Charge? I mean, that's a nice name, because he was screaming, like, advance and stuff, but I'd be calling this episode, like, Erwin Smith. With, like, these big letters on the whole goddamn screen. Because this man stole the episode for me, even though quite a lot happened. Man, the fact that they found that fucking Titan who ate Aaron, that should be shocking. But it's, like, lower than the whole Erwin situation. But, man, we have to speak about that. I mean, they're on the Wall Maria territory, so that's the place where the fucking thing lives. Yeah? She was living here for, like, five years already. What's the chances to find it here? And Aaron, again. How many Titans are you? It was like 50 Titans. And yeah, chances are pretty big. But there's, if there's like 500 of them. And this Titan here. Maybe she's somehow, you know... Uh, this weird creature, she's like... How can I explain that? Not connected, but... but she like tries, she's like, how can I explain that, man? Maybe she's like searching for power of a titan. I mean, no, the father was out of it. She just ate poor Carla. But it looks like too much to be a coincidence, though. But I don't have like a reasonable way to explain that. Why she's, she's like, Aaron... The second time they meet her. Just for the sake of uh, a shock value, I suppose. But if they're gonna kill it, I'm going to be happy. My girl, the best girl of the whole show, Carla uh, Jaeger, finally is going to be... Uh, what's the word? Uh, I'm gonna watch the word. What's the word? Avenged. Man, I know the word. Just sometimes my mind is somewhere else. She's finally going to be avenged. Yes, please. Do that. Avenge my woman. Even though she's not my woman. But I love her. With my heart. So we begin... Oh, let me turn off the sound so there is no copyright stuff. So we begin as from for from a yeah, little um, previous episode stuff, and like we see, man, there's quite a lot of things to uh, discuss. So we see um, Reiner with all his buddies running out of a tree of a giant trees <laughs> of a tree of a forest of a giant trees and he's running straight away from it towards the wall maria and erwin's running like uh, you know parallel to the like that reiner's going there erwin's like, running like here and he sees bertel's running uh, reiner's running and he's like makes a move and the, the guys are screaming like, 
He's like, follow my lead. And the guys are like, are you going to use us as a bait? But I mean, he values his soldiers. He can give their so some of their lives to achieve good, but it's not like he's going to spend them like, like nothing. But their jobs aren't over yet. So yeah, follow me and fuck off. And the very interesting thing to me, I'm just going to say that now because uh, we can say about that now. So let me show you because I have uh, an ability to do that. Yeah, let's use a little pencil. So here's... One sec. So, oops. Here's a forest, right? Nice, awesome forest of thingies. Like giant trees, right? Those are giant. You cannot discuss, say that they're not giant. So yeah, here it is. And we have Reiner, a bad guy. So we're showing him as a red thing. And he's like running. Like, no, help me, I have to leave. He's running there. In this direction. And we have our guys. How will we show our guys let's show them as a yellow and our guys are following him as well on the horses but they're not that fast i mean they're basically the same speed as reiner they're running is the same speed somehow they were managed they managed to connect to him so they're running and maybe like few Oh, you know, kilometers an hour, even even less faster. So, if you're gonna run for like few hours, they're gonna get to him. But Erwin Smith, the man who has no fucking limits, does this. He's like running here, like oh, that's a uh, Reiner, and he's like, screw you. Makes this maneuver and gets here. I mean, Erwin. How were you able to move that fast? Is your horse like a Ferrari? I mean, I'm not against your horse being awesome, but... Other guys were also running. So they have somehow managed to outrun him. And alert titans. I mean, maybe Reiner was like m moving around, but that's that's a very weird. What can I do? Oh, that's a stamp of some sort. Look at that. And shit starts to happen. Like, yeah. And this is so awesome. I can do. I can do. You know what I can do? I can do like. Like. I can do. Like this. Like I love you guys. I love you so much. Uh, how can I? Oh, that's that was easy. So, quite interesting stuff. How was he able to do that? I don't know, but he was able. That I mean, I don't care. This man can fucking do anything. I'm gonna get to that but this is technically was crazy the fact that he had no arm i'm gonna get to that guys just wait for it <clears throat> so they're they're running away and then opening starts charge so they're, they're running and mikasa's like yeah i'm ready i'm getting my men back and poor krista being like all in the slime of Ymir's, you know, inside the mouth, like saliva, saliva, what's it called? Poor girl was like, yeah, should be not the, yeah, poor, 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 such a beautiful, pure girl, but being in such a terrible place. She's still the cleanest, the purest girl ever, but if it's on you, it's like a holy water. And Ymir also quite interesting. She gets out of the Titan. She's also in the slime and stuff. She's also coughing. It's like she, she was under the water of some sort. 
I never noticed Eren being like that. When you see them inside the Titans, their show sometimes. Reiner was like, his face was like, ah, I was always evil, like Doom guy. <laughs> inside, the, you know, in the Doom games, all Doom games, there's like a Doom guy. He's like always like this and shooting. And Reiner was like him exactly. <clears throat> <clears throat> um, and she gets out of it. and But she's not like... It's not like she get out of it and her titan like... Pfft. So when she's connected with the weird, meaty, uh, muscly things, uh, the titan still is operational. I'm not sure if you can remove him with this position, but it's not disappearing. And Ymir spent quite a lot of time sitting like this and looks like she got back. And like, yeah, let's continue. So it's like... Interesting detail that uh, I never n know that you can do that. Uh, but I mean, there were there was a moment when Aaron, as soon as he uh, uh, removed his arm from that, it, it started to evaporate. So yeah, this. But you can do that. You can like, oh, what's up? Like, smoke a cigarette and go back inside. Uh, I wonder why she was in the slime and stuff. So yeah, she gets out of it and starting to explain, like, Krista, I'm, are these guys were forcing you, like, they were, like, bad guys towards you? But no, it was all Ymir's doings. Nobody out there will tell you. So she tries to explain to Krista, like, there's good people out there as well. But man, you're going there to be, like, what, eaten? And you're saying those are good people. I'm not sure if, if like we eat people like you do. And Krista being clueless because she doesn't know about the outside world. She's like, uh, yeah, Titans are very nice people. Like she thinks that Ymir. And Ymir, by the way, she's all she says like, she does not deny that there are Titans living there. It looks like you know, she kind of like says like yeah they're titans but they're nice people. Huh? These nice people throw boulders at you, Ymir. These nice people transformed you into a titan, Ymir. These nice people uh, trying to get you back and eat you, Ymir. And you're saying like it's bad to live here. I'm no I don't know the whole thing. I don't know, but. It doesn't look a very good place to go for me. They're too busy trying to eat me. Yeah, Krista, man. Historia. People calling her Krista in Historia. Let's, let's, let's already, like, switch to one name. And Ymir, like, Krista is, like... Uh, Ymir, I don't know, I'm not sure. It feels like she was lying to Krista just to... Uh, to get her... to agree, So she, she, she will agree. Because if, if uh, Ymir says, that's for me, Krista's gonna do that. If Ymir says, that's for you, Krista's like, no, I don't need that to be done for me. She's like that. She's always sacrificing herself. Uh, but uh, she doesn't care that much about herself. And Ymir was always like against it. Like think about yourself. Stop being that uh, reckless. And value your life. Your legacy. Your name. So Ymir is basically lying to her. Just to make her you know, to go away with her. But I'm not sure. Reiner and Bertel, they need Krista for something. They were saying about that. So if if Eren is not some... something like... Uh, was like... What's it, what's it called? A uh, coordinate. <clears throat> if Eren is not a coordinate, like with Big C, some weird term in, then we can use Krista to somehow help us in our search. So her getting there 
I don't think it's uh, it's best for her to be honest. But as soon as Ymir says like, yeah, uh, that's just for me, and Krista's like, if that's for you, I'm with it. I mean, yeah, this is still a dialogue, but there is it. It is this dialogue. I almost died in the battle at the castle. Yeah. So it's you know, Krista is a bit weird. I mean, I can understand her, but it's a very unnormal way of you know being. It's like. Uh, you have a beautiful girl, and you're uh, getting some uh, uh, sweet uh, stuff, you know, chocolate and uh, flowers, and you're like going home, and here's the, not home, somewhere going somewhere where, where this girl's living, and you're like, hey, this is for you, and she's like, mm. Mm, this is so sad, I don't want that, but then you're coming. Again, and she's like, this is for me. And she's like, oh, great, let's eat that. <laughs> That's how it feels like Krista is. If, if it's not for you, then great. If it's for you, then screw you. That's an interesting girl. Quite an unusual one. <clears throat> and Aaron uh, gets his... Um, Consciousness back, man. <laughs> this fucking frame with Mikasa and Bertolt. So yeah, Mikasa flies, attacks Ymir's eye. And also music plays. She tries to attack Bertolt. He runs away, and like Reiner saves him. If not Reiner, his head is going to be like pfft, done. And then we see the crazy eye. The eye of Mikasa. A very scary one. This is like looking at your own death. Like looking at the black hole in the deepest space. Crazy. This is like absolutely crazy. And Bertolt is scared. If Mikasa was looking at him as like a prey, he was looking at her as like, uh, no, please don't kill me. I want to live. <clears throat> <laughs> Look at this. This is crazy. She's like, she's like, man, she's like a piranha, like, like a ghoul. And poor guy, like, sitting inside the uh, <laughs> a, uh, cabinet or whatever, like, hiding from her, like, in a horror game. And hoping she's not gonna get here. Man, she's savage. And she tries to kill Ymir, because, yeah, Ymir is not helping. But Krista protects Ymir and says, uh, Mikasa, please calm down. And Ymir, please calm down. She's gonna kill you. And that's right, by the way. Mikasa is gonna slice you. Especially if her man is in danger. And Chris like tries to explain to Mikasa, like try to reason with her, but Mikasa's like, you know what? I have one goal, and I have one person I am caring. So if you're caring about Ymir, good for you. But I'm caring about Eren and Ymir, and Ymir is between us, so she's gonna fly. Either she's gonna step away, either I'm gonna slice her like in half and get in man Mikasa in this episode I mean this is a dangerous woman I don't have the time or energy to care who will it be will you be the next obstacle in my path so even Krista is in danger man Mikasa this is, this is the evilest eye of the show ever And Aaron starts fighting, and then the guys arrive. All of them, Jean, Connie, Armin, Sasha, and Mikasa, they're all here. And they're starting like, yeah, man, why? 
it's so bad for doing that and and Bertel's hearing him and you can see him suffer I was discussing that quite a lot already about their situation and yeah the more you see the more you understand that the guys they were put in the situation they didn't want to kill people like Bertel said that who will who's gonna want to do that I mean there are people they're like crazy maniac and stuff but they're not maniacs and by living with uh, them for five years together they actually became friends but they're still enemies you know if you're a uh, some sort of a spy and you're living there uh, and you have friends because you have to do that you're a spy a professional spy like should be unnoticeable should have family life work everything he should be like absolutely unnoticeable but still even while you're here with us drinking tea and like giving us presents and being the best buddy watching attack on titan together still after that you're going home and like typing to your to our enemy like yeah that's this this that secret information confirmed so you're bad guy in this guy in disguise in disguise and yeah, I can understand the guys for like judging him. But it feels like, you know, there are spies that are like, uh, like, yeah, I want to be a spy. I want to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to like, this, the, what's the word? This I'm going to deceive them all just for my homeland, yada, yada. But it looks like they were not like this. They were not... Like, yeah, we're going to do that. They were little kids. It feels like their parents or something gave them to the separation because Annie's father was crying. They forced them. Maybe they're like a legacy of Titans and they're eating people and this. I mean, they're like, it was the little kids, they had to eat people. I don't know how this works works, but it definitely feels like there was they they're not happy with this fate of murderers. Yeah. Why would you do that? But for them it's like they should do that. Maybe the show will do the super duper twist, you know, like we're bad guys and they were all this whole time good guys. That might be interesting, wait. But I don't want that. I don't want uh, us being bad guys. I mean, I don't want us being, like, totally bad guys. I'm not against, like, uh, gray stuff, like in the Witcher games, like, when you don't know if it's good or not good. It's like, you choose not between good and bad, you, cho you choose between good, bad and not that bad. So, I don't want to get so so we're gonna get evil and stuff but that's <clears throat> because they're showing them as like they're suffering <clears throat> and they're all having bad times and they're like yeah they're losing friends actually if if um if our guys lost like three, Annie, Bertolt and Reiner, all of uh, Annie, Bertolt and Reiner lost quite a lot. They lost more people. So it's harder for them. And they're forced to fight. And John uh, tells the story about Bertolt sleeping pretty in pretty interesting poses and they're like predicting weather for that. I mean, that that's funny stuff, you know. I'd like to see some OVAs of them being like... Just having fun. And poor Bertel like starts like yeah, it was not a lie. We were actually friends. He breaks emotionally, explains, tries to explain to them. But Mikasa's like guys. Oh, and he was like, please, someone find us. Someone please, poor Bertolt, you know, since the whole season, uh, whole show started, this is the first time where I can, where, when I can really feel bad for the guy. 
please find us. He's like crying. And Ymir understands them as well. But Mikasa is like Bertolt. Give me my mail. You know the man's back. You know, in your back. It's my man. Give me my man. But Bertolt, I can do that. And she's like, okay. Gonna kill you then. But nope. Mr. Erwin on his Ferrari horse arrives running towards them like eyes eyes are like on fire look at him his eyes actually like they were like you can see the light in them and his man he's leading them I have good goosebumps he's like a leader a crazy leader person not a crazy because he's stupid but like He's dedicated. And he forces this, this huge mass of titans to uh, uh, collide with, with Reiner running. And Reiner's like this. He can't do you know, anything to protect himself. He's like just running and he tried to bump through them. But... It's not like it's a wall. They're like meaty titans. They're like kind of like a gel. gel. It's, it's hard to get through that. And they ended up catching it. <laughs> they have arms and stuff. And looked like it looked like, you know, a game of a American football. Even though I never saw a game. But I saw some, some uh, little pieces here and there. And I see like the guys are like catching them and falling together. That was hap what's basically happened. Oh man, what's what's what am I looking at? And again, um, a very interesting moment to pause. I'm gonna show you that. Uh, though I need to do. Oh, I'm gonna need to do a new tap. Uh, bear with me, but that's gonna worth it. So here is. A very interesting picture. You can notice that everything's fine except for this Titan's butt being in a very natural way, but screw that. You can see Reiner and stuff, but uh, can someone explain to me, please, what the fuck is with Ymir? Where is your body, Ymir? You have like one arm and that's it? What's up? <laughs> Let do, let's do the. Oh, there she... Oh. Oh, man. That looks... And you can see the butt of this guy even, even clearer. And this one looks like... Oh, my God. So that's what... Oh, Titans are flying everywhere. And Ymir... Ymir just doing this movement. You can see a Titan dick here. No, it's not a dick. It's like something moving. But my God, don't look at that. Jesus, I'll have to I'll get blocked for that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you know it was like just like optical illusion, right, man? I'm not gonna do that anymore. That's dangerous for me. So they catch everyone. Reiner, Ymir, uh, everyone. St Ymir starts fighting. Chris is uh, on her head, by the way, still. Man, these titans, they're like chicken titans, look at this. Like one kind of like a chicken moving with the butt out and the other being kind of like a chicken. And what's up with your body being so weird? It's like very weird titans. I've showed you that, right? I hope you have showed you that because I sometimes forget uh, what, what I press. So and then the crazy shit. I'm gonna rewatch it again. Reiner's screaming. What's going on? Says uh, uh, John. Is this hell? No, but it will be. Says Erwin and runs on his Ferrari horse. All soldiers charge. Like this man is not stopping. He has a mission. Jesus. 
this is the moment that will determine the survival or extinction of humanity. He understands that you have to push now or never. This man, I have goosebumps. This, yeah. There is no future in which humanity can inhabit this lands without Aaron. And we should understand that, yes, this is like this. And he holds his knife, his knife by the way, like Levi uh, backwards. Recover Aaron and immediately retreats. He's like sitting here on the horse, man. You can do a statue of a guy. They should do a statue of a guy. Of him being like this. Or how you do it. I think you should use like a right arm. Because the heart is a bit on the left side. So yeah, him being like that or something. Recover and immediately retreat. Yeah, and he gives a right arm. The one he lost, by the way, Shinzo Sasagi Yo, the <sighs> Amikasa started running right away. Crazy Ervin. It's not like those generals, you know, on the battlefield. Like, send these people there. Send these people there. These people are going to die, but these people are going to fight. This is a strategy. He's like, oh, come on, people, you're going to die. You're not butchered. Come on, all of us, charge, advance, susume. Crazy guy. Damn those soldiers. Uh, and the idiot guy sees like dozens of people running. But doesn't see huge titan standing behind of him. And he's like, eh? Yummy. It's done. And, pfft, and his horse looking like... <laughs> like, what? What's up? Uh, it got a bit, uh, you know, uh, lighter. Uh, you know, I feel light. Wow, that's good. This huge as Titan, how can you miss him? And then Reiner decides he's with he's, he's a phase of a Doom guy. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's actually a Doom guy phase, man. Where? Man, here it is. He, here's a phase of a Doom guy when, when he's a bit being shot and or or, or shooting at people. Uh, and he decides, like, brace yourself, Bertolt, I'm gonna use my hand and fight. And basically, Erwin uh, wanted that. He wanted... What's up with drawing here? He wanted them to... To do that. Because either this, either uh, you're going to be eaten. Now that's our chance, wait, because... Uh, He's still covered in tights, I mean, are you seriously considering charging into that mess, charging into this mess? It would take a miracle to get through that life. I mean, yeah, and Erwin's running, like, advance! Man, you should use, like, forward, not in the side. And there's the sneakiest titan ever, fuck! Grabs him. And you can even see, even him being grabbed, he's still a badassest person ever in the world. Look at him. He doesn't care, like, oh, my heart, my hand got eaten. Like, that's bad, but I don't care. It was gotten, and his face is still, like... This is not a scared man. This is angry and ready to fight man. And everyone's like, oh no, Erwin. Erwin Taincho. And he's like, Sesame. Like, Sesame. This man. It's like men. A man. Aaron's just ahead. You're being eaten. Advance like screw me. Go get them. 
and uh, thankfully if you guys are going to help him in the end because if we need everything this guy this guy he means business and crazy stuff happening like a lot of guys are dying and i never saw someone of our guys die but quite a lot of them died so mikasa tries to attack bertold he jumps away and she misses him and f fucking some titan grabs her like happy as titan and is like like squeezes her the poor girl broke for few limbs not limbs uh, ribs man but john john you know john he loves her he loves this girl and he helps her and man john you're great for doing that you did he also uh, only attacked his eyes the titan's eyes though he could have killed him but still thank you was it was enough few guys tried to attack Reiner, but nope. And then the crazy stuff happens. The mastermind appears. An evil mastermind. At least this episode, this moment, he was like that. He remembers everything. He, re he gets the connection that probably Bertolt... Even if not Bertolt, like, loves... Even if it was not the case, but still... Uh, he uh they care about her but he suspects that Bertolt cares about her even more and he uses this information like oh you're gonna leave Annie here she's suffering a lot you're such a bad guys leaving your girl no regeneration in the world gonna help her for suffering. And pfft, this is like freeze moment, no one's moving. You're creating new methods, they're creating new methods of torture just for her. I mean, this is a total lie, but they don't know about her. I mean, she, they think probably that she's still undercover. But no, she was the first one who got caught. And they don't know about that. Because like, it's like few... It was like a day before it, it happened, I suppose. You hell spawn. I'm going to murder you. So Bertolt, like, yeah, it's like flips. And then... Erwin appears, the guy who was eaten somewhere there without his arm. This arm appears and slices Aaron away. And you know what's the craziest thing about this all? It is crazy already, but it is even more crazy than you think, probably. I mean, you probably know that, but for me, it's crazy. We know. We were told quite a lot that using the gear is very difficult. It's like they're all like... It's like a very uh, complex system and you should move your all your body parts. Uh, you have these two things. With them you can uh, somehow uh, balance and use and like shoot cables. You, for, for normal guy... To use it is hard, but he was able to use it with one arm. He had no other thing. They had like two shooting thingies. He was able to do that with one goddamn arm. With one goddamn joystick or whatever. With the blade on it. Ervin, are you like from this planet? This badassest person in this show. Even Levi, I mean, Levi is super cool. But what Aaron, Aaron has done is absolutely mind-blowing. And he's like, yeah, look at this face. This man means business. The gotcha. No hand. 
and he falls and his arms already bandaged uh, so they stopped bleeding and he falls down right on his horse thankfully nicely done horsey his horse is also a legend by the way no arms somehow managed to fly with the goddamn maneuver gear and he's like retreat uh, Krista kills the first titan in her life and get, get, gets captured by Connie and Sasha and they explain to her that no girl, Ymir's lying to you. It's not like she tried to save you and now she, you're saying that uh, she want you to save her? She like almost gave her life to save you. And it actually looked like she might die. And Krista understands that like, oh yeah, that's probably really is the case and then the flying f f titan like huge fat titan flying reiner started throwing titans at people and one landed it seems like near Aaron and mikasa so the horse is alive but she ran away Aaron's lying you know his arms are uh hanged there uh and mikasa's like all ribs are broken. It's hard for her to move. Erin. And then the fucking thing appears. Bam. Slowly moving. It's not running like those titans. Maybe this is also a smart one. Or a weird one. Because it's like... Maybe it's just a dramatic way of appearing out of the clouds. Not the clouds, but, you know... Uh, what's it called? Smoke and stuff. Slowly appears and they're looking at him and like, oh no. And he walks, smiling. Poor Carla. Fucking ate poor Carla. It has pretty weird facial features. I'm looking at it right now. Like cheeks. It feels like it's uh, it was a woman when she when it was alive. Because it, it it looks kind of like you, a some kind of granny, you know. Like you can see uh, uh, like this type of face you know if you're not seeing here where the teeth are like yeah that's just like granny not the very nice looking one but the granny right the eyes the cheeks kind of looks like happy granny uh, like but yeah then you see the teeth it that, that doesn't look very nice so it appeared and to be continued screen again with the goddamn cliffhanger and we have only one episode left in this season. Fuck. Erwin lost an arm. Mikasa's damaged. The thing is coming. But I mean, there are guys. There were Armin and uh, Rein, uh Not Reiner. Jean. But Reiner's getting those titans, you know, out of him. It's not safe for every anyone at this moment. This is scary, guys. This is very scary. And this is quite a big discussion for like if for something that has no actually uh, no uh, deep deep information. So yeah, today is going to be the last episode of this season. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I wonder if Han is gonna see the thing because he also has like this moment with it. He wasn't able to fight it. Maybe he's gonna do his thing. I'm afraid. But that was awesome, man. Aaron was Erwin was absolutely incredible. And this guy, I hope he lives. I hope he lives. I've got goosebumps just by thinking about the guy. So yeah. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow in the next episode. Uh goodbye guys.